Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. I, um, I, I haven't really done any kind of makeup or skincare video in a while because I've been doing wig stuff, but um, I wanted to go through some of my empties and a couple surprising favorites of mine. So let's get right to it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please like the video, and for all of you watching, it doesn't cost you anything to hit the like button. I sometimes have hundreds of people watching and, you know, maybe 80 likes. So if you're watching the video, just reach up and hit the like button. I would truly appreciate it very much. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I'd like that too, if you would consider subscribing. I talk about skincare, makeup. I share a little bit about my lifestyle. I, uh, I'm going to be 70 years old, oh my gosh, in February. And, uh, and I explore alternate hair options. I have thinning hair. And I'm, you know, going through some, using some products to try to help my hair um, stay somewhat healthy. I am also taking a medicine for preventive for breast cancer that has some certain side effects and one of them is also thinning hair. So it's a full boat of, of stuff that, that I'm going through and that I'm dealing with with my hair. So I have had um, a number of wig videos because I do like wearing alternate hair. This is, um, a, this is actually something that I purchased on the clearance rack at Wig Studio One. Um, every I check the clearance racks a lot because oftentimes there are some really good buys. So this is Ellen Villa, and this is, Ellen Villa is a German wig company. And so this is Ellen Villa, and I have this in the color Sand Multi Rooted, and it's called Sunset. Now Sunset has reviews online. It is very flat. If you like a puffy look, this might not be for you, but I'll tell you a little secret. If you like a puffy look and you also want it to still have low density and be flat, this wig wax spray surprisingly has turned out to be one of my favorite products. So wig wax spray, you can add some texture. It'll give you a little bit of hold. You can have some definition. Those of you that remember when I talked about this wig, when I first got this wig, I said that I was going to cut some uh, face framing layers in, which I did, very little. So I'm going to go a little bit more shorter because in my last video, I had shown um, a local salon cut my human hair wig. So I got some really good ideas from her and I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut a few more face framing layers because that is really what I like. I like a curtain bang, I don't like a full bang. I don't like it just hanging straight. So anyways, that um, wig wax ended up being a huge favorite of mine. And I know for those of you that don't care about wig wax uh, or wigs, that doesn't really matter. But another thing that I'm gonna mention and I use L'Oreal Magic Root Cover-Up Spray. I usually buy mine at, in Walmart. And what I do with this is on my bio hair, and I have a blonde color. This just happens to be the darker brown. It's a temporary spray. It does come out. It conceals your grays and stuff like that. So I will spray this on my bio hair to conceal my sprays on my grays. I have also surprisingly started to use this and I don't know if it's the right thing to do or not because it isn't made for wigs, but sometimes you get a wig that's just maybe uh, the color's just too bright for you. You have to be super careful because this comes out really dark, but you can spritz this and you can tone down those blondes if that's what you want. You know, you can tone it down. I did tone this down a little bit. So anyways, those, um, those two, two products really, really amazed me. I am also going to talk about this, um, this product that I got from Candy Way. This is, and I know I'm going to say it wrong. This is um, Guiche. Guiche. Anyways, the Candy Way, had, and they have a video on this, how to use this, but Nicole reached out to me and they had sent me the red light therapy mask that I absolutely love. And she had said that she had gotten certified to do this guiche and they sent this to me. 
actually got two of them and I'm not too sure if this is going to pick up. It has directions, it has a QR code, um, it has everything that you really need. If you want to start to do face massaging with a Guia Shea stone like this, right, and do this and and you don't have to perhaps you know, do any, any, um, you know, use a new face or anything like that. But say you really wanted to use this. See, these stones are amazing. Anyways, she sent this to me complimentary and I am an advocate of face massaging. I do have a new face device. I have a couple of other devices, but there are times that I just use a guilloche and I just massage and I may not be doing it the right way. So she has really awesome direction. She sent me two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one as a giveaway. So you're going to have to stay to the very end to find out. So I got that and I thought that was super awesome. So the other thing that I got this, oh gosh, was it a month or so ago? I received this mascara from Prime Lash. Now I'm going to link their website. This mascara touts it to be for the mature woman um, really talks about how easy it is to apply and how it does make your lashes thicker and all of that stuff and even in just two coats you will see a difference now this mascara goes for like $28 when it's not on sale so um, it's not inexpensive but they sent this to me complimentary to try them and superimpose a photo this was me without any makeup on just my naked eyes um, without any mascara and in the other photo that you're going to see now I have one eye done two coats of mascara now I I'm a messy mascara applier and I apply it before my eyeshadow because I always have to take the excess off with the q-tip so I did two coats and then I did the other eye and this next picture shows both eyes done with just the two coats of the mascara I then I had before I took that picture, I took the Q-tip and I wiped the excess off. The excess came off super easy, which I like. I didn't have to tug. I didn't have to do, you know, a whole lot of different things. So I've worn this just a couple of times. And each time, I will tell you, I have it on right now. It has not clumped on me. It has not spread on me. And it's super easy to take off. Uh, does it make my lashes look bigger, better, uh, more volume than some of the other mascaras? No, it doesn't on mine, um, but it, it is just really easy to apply and I love the wand. The wand is, is super easy. It doesn't, it, I, think, I think it's because of the way the wand is, it just does not clump and I really like that. So they had a lot of people touting this online and I, I really like it. I wanted to share it with you. It, it is um, Prime Lash and it is designed for the more mature eye. I do like that. You all know that I have been using my Lash Princess. The purple has been one of my all time favorites. You know, the look, this, my Lash Princess for sure clumps more than this. It goes on thicker than this one. Um, and it lasts all day long, but it does go on thicker and it does tend to have more clumpier. But it, and when it comes off at the end of the day, I use the, uh, eye, the makeup oil remover, comes off just fine. I really like it. For the price, it's awesome and uh, it lasts. The wand does not compare to this. So if you're looking for anti-clump, this would be it. The other mascara that I got that I really love, and this is also a pricey number, this is Petite and Pretty. This is a kid's mascara. Now I've talked about this mascara. If I, and this has a bigger wand, shorter wand, which I like. I really like that. I don't need something this far away. So I like how short the wand is compared to the other mascaras. And, but this is also pricey, even though it's a kid's mascara. This is a pricey mascara too. So I, you know, I don't know. I mean, these have been my favorites. Price-wise, dollar for dollar, you cannot beat this. This is awesome. And if you are, you know, really looking at having really nice buildup of lashes without it being heavily coated, 
this is your go-to. This is really a beautiful mascara. So this was sent to me complimentary. And Prime Lash. They sent this to me without any obligation. So I really like that because, you know, obviously if you hate their product, they don't want you to talk about their product. <laughs> I talked about this, um, the fact that I really wanted to get the Huda Beauty palette and I had seen it on Clara, Beauty is Ageless, and she had done an eye look and it was just really beautiful. So I ended up getting it. Sephora had the 20% off sale and I also had an additional coupon for Kohl's because I my Sephora is in Kohl's. So I ended up getting it and oh my gosh, I've used it a number of times. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. And when I say a beautiful palette, it, the color payout is really awesome. I really, really love it. Today I have just about everything except for the, the middle glitter on the bottom row here. And um, I have been creating eye looks with this every single day. So this has turned into be a true favorite. And um, it is going with me wherever I go. And other thing that ended up being a super favorite is this Sephora. Let me put my glasses on so I can read it for you. This is the Sephora Colorful Shadow Stick and Liner. Ombre, um, waterproof. What is my color? Irish, Iris Simmer, number 13. Irish Shimmer. I really, really like this. I really, really like this. I will end up going and getting an other lighter shade, but I love this. I don't know if it's going to show or not, but it's just a light purple Irish. Got a little bit of a shimmer. Doesn't glitter too much, just a little bit of a shimmer. I have this on my lids along with my Huda palette. So I've got the Huda palette on, and then I went in with this just in the center and then this one from Ulta Beauty which I got quite a while ago cream eyeshadow and liner in lilac this is just a little bit of a lighter shade and if you can see it and it just really looks super good so I put that sort of on the inner side so I've got these two and this and then I just have a regular brown liner on so those have been some of my absolute favorites this month. Um, you know, I, I just really, I don't have, I don't buy a whole lot of products, but when I do buy them, I, I definitely want to share them with you. My empties. I emptied my vitamin C from Timeless. I think that I have been using this, I have to look it up, but I want to say since um, the beginning of the year. So this has almost lasted me, I want to say, probably a good eight months. And I use this most every single morning. I keep it in the refrigerator. I just really like this an awful lot. Ran out of it. I have ordered, I've got a second one in the freezer because when I ordered this, I ordered two and I have one in the freezer to use. So I'm all set. I will definitely continue to use my timeless vitamin C. I have other vitamin C's that I'm trying that I'm using right now that I really, really like. And um, until I'm done those two vitamin C's, then I will go into my freezer and take out my timeless. I have finished my Morphe continuing so uh, setting spray. Um, I know somebody, some of you have said that this can get clumpy towards the end or, or, you know, big drops or something like that towards the end. I have been really lucky with it. So far, the mist has been really fine. I tend to buy it when it's on sale in Ulta and, um, and I really like it. Now, the one that I've replaced it with, I do have a new one of this, but I replaced it with, and I've been using mostly is the sun setter one with the, um, the setting spray with the sun protection. I really, really need that. Finished my big sexy hair. I think Mary Glitzy Fritzy recently talked about this and she gave a really good tip on how to use this. She, when she sprints on, she covers half of it because this does come out when you, when you put this powder on, this does come out thick. So she puts her hand over, I never thought of that. And then, so she's only got like half of it coming out and then she sprays it and she does the same thing I do. You know, you kind of like put it in, you, you kind of like whoosh up your hair 
and you you wait right it, it takes like a minute if that all of a sudden it's just like whew, takes effect and you have big I don't know if my hair would be called sexy <laughs> but you have big sexy hair love the love love this stuff I would never be without this I have already repurchased it um, I showed you my eye my mascara I finished one really <laughs> love this that's why I have my new one I finished it really good stuff I also finished but did not did not finish um, finished this older voluminous mascara L'Oreal like it I like my my uh, lash princess better I purchased two of these elf shadow sticks I don't like them and I know I've watched a couple of reviews on them other people seem to really like them I have a hard time blending them um, I don't like them so I got these two colors there's still plenty in here I'm probably going to see about giving it away because truthfully I, I don't want to throw it away but truthfully I am not going to be using them so didn't like them nope also finished this lip I am precious and I have no idea I need to put my glasses on I have no idea Real Her, that's who it is, from Real Her. I probably got this in a BoxyCharm. I don't, I don't remember because I know I didn't buy this. A lip liner. Um, very nice, but not repurchasing. Finished up this lipstick I have repurchased. I really like it. This is in the color Flawless. And I really enjoy this lipstick. All gone. Nothing left. Color the World lipsticks. So, I get them online. I've also finished another Blink Eyelash Serum. I have gone back to using my eyelash serum from Blink. Um, I really like their product. It does help with my eyelashes. So, I go to the dermatologist, and at my dermatologist, I get a prescription for my Retin-A, and I think I've mentioned that before. So, my dermatologist has given me a prescription for my Retin-A. I go to my eye doctor. My eye doctor thinks that the eyelash serum is perfectly fine. I do have dry eyes, so I'm always really a little bit concerned about that. But so far, everything has been fine. I finished this. is really cool from City Beauty. This is their Invisicrate Body Balm. I finished it. I like it. Um, when I purchase it, I didn't see any significant difference in the body bomb compared to other body bombs that I've used. So it doesn't stand out to me to being like super, super, you know, I've got to go get it type of thing. But it was really, really lovely. I also got in the mail a, um, a foot massager. I'm going to do a separate video on it because when I looked at this foot massager, I was like, what? And, uh, but... It is awesome. And the, the foot massager, Jay says, actually helps his knees. And I think that somehow the pressure of something on your feet can make other things feel better <laughs> or something. I don't know if I'm making sense. So I will talk about that in a separate video. But if you stayed with me this far, Candy Way sent me two of these guayashi stones. And... Um, I really love face massaging and I, I know you can buy these stones anywhere, but I think her system is super nice. So I am going to do a giveaway with this for somebody and I'm just going to do a random picker and I'm going to copy Mary Ellen. Okay. So if you want to be entered, I want you to tell me in a, I want you to use the word face massage. All right, that's how I'll know that you want to be entered. And then just tell me what you love about face massages. How's that sound? And uh, then we'll be entered, and then I will send this out to you, hopefully within a week. So I'm going to put a cutoff date on this um, because I don't want to have to mail this out after Christmas. So I want to be able to mail, get this in the mail before Christmas. So I will be drawing the name of the winner probably uh right before christmas on the maybe on the 18th let me take a look at my my uh, calendar here 
Um, today's the 10th. This I'm going to have this video probably go live on Wednesday morning, the 13th. And I will do the drawing on the 17th. And so therefore I'll be able to mail it out before Christmas. Okay, so that's the scoop. You're seeing this on the 13th on Wednesday morning. You have until the 17th which is Sunday when I will do the drawing. And I'll probably do a little quick video update on that and uh, let you know who wins it, okay? So face massage, why do you like it? And then you will win one of these um, face massagers. Anyways, thank you guys so much for always being with me and supporting me. I know that I'm haphazard sometimes in my video uploads and my topics are all over the place, but yeah, that's who I am. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you so much, and I will chat with you all later. You have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Love you. Have a great week.